All right, so I'm gonna do a uh, quick unboxing here. This is something that I ordered a little while ago. Kind of like a yeah, Christmas present. I've been wanting one of these for years. After we get this thing out of the box, we'll put it to the test. <clears throat> what I ordered is called a pallet buster. <clears throat> and supposedly, you can use these things to lift the boards up off of a pallet without breaking them. Because I'm sure if any of you have ever tried it with just a hammer and like a flathead or a chisel or something like that, that doesn't work out all that well most of the time. See if there's any booklet or anything. No, no booklet. All right, okay, it looks like it does. So model number SKB DLX. I'll go ahead and have a, a link down in the description so you can check it out yourself. See, this stuff, it's pretty bad. I can't even remember, you know, what, uh, what place I got it from. It says Vestil Manufacturing Corporation. This is, uh, Agoria, Indiana. Which is weird, because it says it's made in China right there. But, either way, hey, Keith, then. So there it is, all metal construction, nice and solid. So I handle any pellet that I throw at it. It's got a nice flat plate to put the boards up against. These guys pivot. So as you're prying up on them, they'll stay, cat, could you move your butt? Stop bumping into the camera. But as you're pulling on it, they pivot. Hey, here. Go inside. Okay, sorry about that, but anyways, as you're prying back on the pallet, these things will stay flat, nice even support to each board as you're lifting them up. I have a lot of plans for pallets. Uh, main thing is siding for both of these campers. Um, this one here, and then the pickup camper that's over there. Amongst quite a few other projects and pallet wood is useful for so many things Just the one by fours at the very least And so uh, Might as well just go ahead and grab a pallet and see what kind of damage this thing will cause All right, so we have the Vestil pallet buster 41 inches um, like I was saying, nice solid metal construction, all steel. I've seen some of them where they just sell the, we'll call it the head, and you put like a broom handle on it. You know, obviously that's not going to be as, you know, stout. I wanted to get the whole thing all solid. Um, I guess there's really not much more to say about it, and it looks, looks like it'll do the job. Um, once again, I'll have a link down in the description in case you want to grab one yourself. Um, let's go ahead and uh, see what this thing can do. Alright, so we have here what I consider a standard pallet. You know, I think like 90% of pallets are like this. They're 48 inches by 54 or 52, something like that. And typically, you know, they have 4 inch uh, boards going across this way four inch wide and then like a three or four inch space in between and it looks as though this thing will fit right in between them so you can start wherever for the ones that are spaced closer together I'm not sure how you would do that 
I might have a pallet that's designed like that. I'll have a look, maybe we'll play with that. But let's go ahead and see what this thing does. Let's go ahead and start in the middle here. Yep, goes right in there. I'm gonna get the plate as close to the board as possible. And see what happens if I just pry up. Oh, right up and out. Now to be completely fair, this board, or this pallet is wet, it's been snowing, so that may assist in taking these apart. Let's go ahead and try to leave this one on the end. Oh, look at that. And the last one. This side did break a little bit, but it's got a knot, so that's where it broke. All right, so there's one. Uh, ones over here look a little bit drier. I'll go ahead and move the camera so you can probably see it better. All right, so the one on the end here looks drier and it's larger, so Let's go ahead and start here on the end. This already has cracks in it, so if it does split, I won't be completely surprised. Wow. And then we'll just go on the other end. Now, because you're on the end, you do have to force it a little bit this way, just to keep the handle vertical, or else it's just gonna pivot and go in. So, this side. There we go. If you saw, there was a little bit of splitting here, but there was already a split from the nail. You know, pellets dry out and they crack. And we'll go to the middle. Center it up. And here we go. Look at that, that is amazing. This thing is kind of hefty. I venture to guess it's at least 30 pounds or so, 25. So maybe after you know a few pallets, you'd probably want to take a break, but for the amount of work this would save and get some nice boards out of it, it's definitely worth the purchase. So I'm gonna see if I can find one of those that's narrower. You may end up having to have a sacrificial one on the end in order to get to them if they're narrower. Let's see what I can find. There we go. This one is quite a bit narrower. We'll just pry up on one to uh, give it a test. But even these guys still look like they have enough space. Because, I mean, you're going to have to do... Looks like you need about two and a half to three inches in between each board. Which I'm guessing... There we go. Yep. So yeah, this will probably take care of most, if not all, the pallets that you may have stacked up. And get your construction going, whatever you want to build. All right, so if you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you know anybody that could uh, use this information, maybe they're looking to buy one of these, go ahead and share it with them. Hit the thumbs up if you got any value out of this video. Until next time. Keep kicking up dust.